Okay, there's the quiet bit for the uh, for the edit. Hello, everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, hi. If you're not watching on YouTube, you've already been said hi to. But anyway, um, right. So to recap, previously, uh, we started the Knights of the Nine. Basically. We're in the rain in Anvil. We spoke to the prophet. And he said, You must quest for the divine crusader's relics. In order to stop Umaril the Unfeathered. And uh, his only lead was to basically just go and do the traditional pilgrimage of the something or other. Uh, and visit all the way shrines on the map. And, uh, you know, do that, basically. I'll say it in Kermit the Prophet's voice. Huh. Here we are. Good morning. So. I've already agreed to it. I guess he's just hedging his bets. He figures, like, if I send, like, six different people off on this on this Pilgrim's Way uh, pilgrimage thing, then the odds of one of them succeeding is maybe higher. Like, you throw enough would-be adventurers at the wall and eventually one of them will stick, right? So here's the Way Shrine map. We are going to visit every shrine on this map. These ones specifically. I am aware that I think you can go to just any old way shrine of Mara, and that will cross off Mara off the list. But I want to do the actual proper ones and walk the actual pilgrim's way, so to speak. Uh, so that's that's what I will do. Uh, which means that we'll be starting with Arke off there to the west of Kvach, and then Mara, and then Dibella, and then I think probably Akatosh, Julianos... I think then we'll go Kinnereth and then probably double back over here to Talos and Athar and Stendar, and then that will be us done and dusted with the Pilgrim's Way. Then again, we could go Julianos, Talos, Anathar, Stendar, then visit Leowin and go all the way up around there to Kinnereth to finish it. It's a bit, take a bit longer, but that might be more interesting, actually. Less backtracking involved that way. We'll see. I don't know if we'll, me. I mean, it's probably very unlikely Stop. we'll actually finish the Pilgrim's Way in this stream, so. Spaghetti, thank you very much for the gift subs. Very generous of you. We're watching you, Scum. I like, yeah, I like to think that this is a nice community. I, um, I do have moderators who lurk in the background. But rarely do they actually have to exercise their powers. You. I'm very happy to say. Let's pop in here and see if they've got anything good. Like a helmet that's better than this leather helmet. We're Whoa. watching you. It's pretty dark Scum. in here, isn't it? Hello. How goes Varel Morvane? Been making weapons and arms here in Anvil for 30 years. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with We're you. watching you, scum. Is that the is that the last of the gifty modes going in there, or is that a new one? Because it ain't popping up in the chat, weirdly enough. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I can see it now. A terrible crime. Everyone in the chapel murdered. Who could have done such a thing, and why? Well, if the prophet is to be believed, it was Umaril the Unfeathered. I don't know where he came from. Just appeared outside the chapel a day or so after the attacks. Been there ever since. He just randomly appeared from pretty much nowhere. And I don't think it will ever be explained who he actually is or where he came from, actually. That just sort of gets left hanging there. But hey... Not smart to carry around broken equipment. It isn't, you're quite right. Uh, let's repair all. And oh, see if he's got weapons. anything good. I have it all. How may I help you? 
Silver glaive, huh? That's interesting. Silver scimitar. Hmm. Ten damage, one-handed. Versus our silver longsword. I don't know where I have this hunting dagger, by the way. I just do. I think I... Hmm. How much does it weigh? Not very much. I think I might keep that for bashing things open with if I need to. Silver longsword. Waste 33. 10 damage. Versus... Waste 31 and does 10 damage. And it's a scimitar, so therefore it is cooler. Just by sheer virtue of being a scimitar. So, tell you what. I shall have that after haggling slightly. Pleasure doing business. And you can have this. An excellent bargain. The truncheon of submission. <laughs> Expect quality writing from Bethesda. Don't you have high standards? Yeah, well, you know. And the armor's all a bit rubbish. Oh well. Thank you. Come again. Hey, look at that. It's not a bad piece of kit. I'd, I'd argue that's maybe more of a falchion than a scimitar, but okay. Pretty cool. We argue it's one of those like there's one of those characters in Morrowind who are actually manifestations of the nine. Yeah, but like you know, the difference there is that with John Hawker and Wolf, um, like there was actually some you know, there was actually some some evidence to suggest that that's what they were. Whereas the Prophet's origins just simply never addressed in this, like not even once. There's not even a hint as to who he might be or where he came from. They just kind of forgot to address that. But if we want to paper over it with narrative, I suppose we could say that, yeah, he maybe is one of those. One of those kind of manifestations. All Natural is a very good mod, yeah. Big fan. The fact that it does visuals and sound as well. Um, <laughs> look at all my potions. <laughs> oh, do you know what? This place has loads of aloe vera growing around, doesn't it? Let's go harvest some of that for making health potions with. Did they move the fighters Hi. guild? I think they did. Unless... Oh no, that's Harbour Master's house. All right, never mind. Actually, not seeing a lot of uh, aloe vera now that I've mentioned it. It's just conspicuous by its absence. Vanilla, there's loads of it around. I spice them down here. I'm getting a little bit lost wandering around Better City's Anvil. It's deceptively bigger than the original.
Okay, a disappointing lack of aloe vera, but never mind. No route over there, I'm going to leave that alone. At Benner's Manor, which I don't think I'm interested in, actually. It's a fun little quest and all, but... Nah. I've got my heart set on that boat. Okay, yeah, really disappointing lack of uh, aloe vera. Fiddlesticks, never mind. All right, well. What's the timing game right now? It is 1 p.m. almost. Plenty of time to get out there and start, uh, you know, visiting way shrines. We could buy a horse. We could buy a horse. I don't know if I want to, though, right now. Yeah, we could buy a white horse here. I believe I have just about enough money for it, but... Uh, I think not. Hail. Hail, yes. So our first one is the Shrine of Arke, which is basically along this road, near one of the inns, probably, a bit north. So... Let us begin on our way with our fancy new scimitar that may, 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 or not, may not actually be a scimitar. We need a cloak, really. We definitely need a cloak. Next time I'm in the Imperial City, I'll have to go to the, the clothier lady. See if she's got any capes we can buy. Hello, alien ruin that is probably full of Bosma Rangers, and I'm therefore going to leave alone. So yeah, it's like up here somewhere. Ah, the decapitated remains of one of our assailants. Hello, Mr. Hyreman. Where does this path lead? Athletic skill increased array. The most boring skill in the game. Athletics. This path leads to a farm. The little manor house type bit. Isn't this where like Lord Rugdumpf lives? No, this is Lord Drad, sorry. Lord Drad lives here. Loving these early streams. Well, that's that's the idea. I hope people would love these early streams. That's why I'm doing them. I figure more people get a chance to watch this way. Fort Such. Ah, Fort Such. Yes, Such was originally meant to be another town in the game. Back in the olden days, and if you look at old maps of of Cyrodiil from before this game actually came out, they do have Such listed on there as a town. Um, Unfortunately, didn't make it into the final game, and all you got instead was Fort Such. I believe someone actually made a mod that added Such as a town in the end. Uh, after the fact, but uh, yeah. This is all you get, unfortunately. Oblivion had an awful lot of cut content, actually, even by the usual Bethesda standards. Had a lot of cut content, such as one example of that. The other example, of course, being the whole uh, Kavach thing. Where, um. 
the whole point of you finding the Count's Ring in Kvatch and, and everything is that in the main quest originally, you were supposed to become the new Count of Kvatch. And eventually the Duke of Kolovia, and you were you were going to have a seat on the uh, Elder Council, and the Elder Council itself would actually play a more active role in the main quest, etc., etc. And uh, again, all of this stuff just got thrown in the bin, essentially, because they didn't have time to, to, to implement it. Let's check this place out, at least. Right, let's sneak a little bit so we know for sure what's in here. Oh, my sneak skill is increasing, so obviously there's someone here. I can see someone over there. Kind of looks like it's just bandits, but... Where are you? Where are you? Ah. We have some customers. Whoa, okay. Well, steady on that. If we finally get a decapitation, I wonder that isn't a Khajiit. I'll pick my teeth with your This is the part where you fall down and bleed to Never mind. That's one down at least. Steal thy katana. How much does my uh Ah, my silver claymore is better. Bizarre. Your presence here will not be tolerated. Will it indeed? And a Mr. Nord with a head that's wider than it is tall by the looks of things. Oops. I do have time block installed for deadly reflex, so I am trying to time my blocks, not necessarily very effectively, mind you, but hey. See, she just won't decapitate anyone that's not Khajiit. It's, it's a little bit weird. spell already as well. Got to use it last time. Hello. Here we go. Oh, he ducked. Very good. Interesting armor as well, actually. Do the worst. Die, damn you. You elves are all the same. All flag. Should probably really try and Avoid his hits where I can. It's the benefit of the armor, I can move a bit faster. Although he's got quite a bit of reach with that sword. Gotcha. Ah, that's what that is. Reinforced iron armor. Cool. I mean, if I was a heavy armor character, sure. Awesome. But, uh, alas, I am not. Here will not Hello there, friend. Are you locked in? You are. How awkward. Ha! Huh, you're stuck in there. How interesting. At least thanks to that, like, hide after combat mod I've got installed. Uh, she will de-aggro as long as we move out of range. As opposed to if it were vanilla, we'd have combat music going throughout this entire dungeon as a result of that. 
one of the mods I kept installed from when we were playing with uh, with Arthur because I figured it might be useful for situations exactly like that. This could be part of the Dark Brotherhood. In fact, yeah, I think it might be. You might be right, actually. But um, I didn't necessarily recognise it because I'm not. Whoa! Hello. I haven't done the Dark Brotherhood quest in a long time. Impaled. Okay, this guy is pretty damn tough, huh? Isn't he? Uh, that usually would be an instant kill. Holy crap. I'm going to win this if you keep it up. <laughs> there we go. Had the sword with the greater reach. Another silver scimitar. Typical. Bloody typical. I buy one of the bloody things. And then I find one on a... On a dude. Yeah, I pretty much ignore backseating. Especially when it's for a game that I know very well like this. So uh, you would be well advised to basically just not backseat at all, because there's no point. Oh, I love this bit of music. Grove of the Ancients, I think it is, from Baldur's Gate 2, Throne of Baal. Oh man. One of my long-standing ambitions on my YouTube channel. Um, is to, or maybe, maybe one day I'll do it on Twitch instead, I don't know, is to do a full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 1, Siege of Dragon Spear, Baldur's Gate 2, and then Throne of Baal all the way through with the same character. I think that would be pretty freaking sweet. It would take ages to do, though. It'd be like playing the Witcher games all the way through. Long, long time. These doors definitely feel quite out of place. Ha! Ah, how about they? I'm aiming for another decapitation here, really. Oops, I didn't need to cast that twice. Why did I do that? Ooh! Ooh! Did that seriously miss? Oh my god. I think that's twice that's missed now. Basically, if you knock a guy down like that, you can use the pommel strike slash shield bash button to impale them, but I think I keep missing. <laughs> Might be wise to go into third person next time that happens, just to make sure I get it right. You have to be quite sparing with the old uh, pommel strikes, actually, because the, the deadly reflex AI does adapt to it. If you keep spamming it, then they'll counter it. Ow. I'm going to bleed slow. Silver Dai Katana, huh? As good as this, way significantly less, though. 
you know what? Yeah, I think I'll use that. At the risk of being accused of being a weeaboo. Uh, I'll hold on to the silver claim all for now because I quite want to sell it, but. Yeah, activate weeb mode. <laughs> My only defense is that in the Elder Scrolls universe, it's not really a weeb thing because there were loads of Daikatanas in Morrowind. But yeah, it's kind of a weeb thing. <laughs> the Claymore's cooler, but I can't I can't say no to like an extra ten pounds of weight freed up by using the katana instead. And it's also silver, so Oh Christ alive. It'll it'll still damage ghosts and stuff. I'm gonna get no, okay, I didn't get zapped by a trap. Okay, usually that's what happens. Do you know what? I'm going to use that repair hammer. Terrible armor skill. But, uh, you know, it's a bit of free repairing. Let's get out of here. I think we've seen all there is to see in this place. Almost all there is to see in this place. In actual fact. Alright, let's just go and explore this extra little bit down here that we've... Ah, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> How the devil do you get in there? This way? I seem to have missed a spot. And I would rather not miss a spot. I would rather make sure we've got everything. Never know when there might be a cool bit of loot. Sequestered away. Ooh. Okay. We're getting a bit damp. A chest. Defensive boost time. What the crap is that? Oh. Do you want to add defensive boost to your spell list? Uh, yeah, sounds cool. Fortify light armor, five points for 30 seconds on itself, and shield 15%. That's really good! That's incredibly useful for me specifically. Wow. Costs a fair bit of magic, yeah? But... It's not bad. It's not bad. I think I'll use that for every fight, but if I've got a particularly tr tricky one, I can ha hit that, and then I can hit the regular protect spell on top of that, and significantly buff my armor. Oh my god. Hey. Can't wait till I can cast open average lock. And welcome back to the outside world. We're somewhat off course at the moment. Let us correct that and head in this direction. Is it? Nah, uh, it is 8 p.m. Yeah, I was going to say, is it really this dark just because of the rain? No, nah, it's getting quite late. Spellblade? Uh, more of a cleric in my imagination. Really? D&D cleric? Oh boy. How about me, wolf? Wolf thinks always good. Wolf meat, we can use to make health potions. 
is a restore health ingredient. And as you can see in Oblivion, it's quite plentiful as well, because there's an awful lot of wolves around. Suicidal, lunatic, frothing in the mouth, insane wolves. With no sense of self-preservation, admittedly, but I'm not going to complain. Piggy! You too are a source of restore health ingredients. Right, the, the way shrine should be around here somewhere. Admittedly, the visibility right now is not particularly conducive to spotting things in the distance, but oh my goodness, I can't see anything at all. Hello, Vera. Another piggy. Ah! Come back here, you fiend. Damn you. Ah, there's a camp over there, so we've got somewhere to rest now, at least. There was a... I think it killed a wolf. Yeah, there we go. No meat on it, though. There's Kavach silhouetted in the ominous distance. Look at that. Vera's adventures are going to continue on YouTube at some point in the very nearish future, actually. Since the topic has come up. We'll be starting a Darkness Over Daggerford campaign with Vera imported into it. Kavach, Sylvan Ranger Camp. Oh, you're the, you're the good rangers. You're the nice rangers, aren't you? Well met. Clearly. Fighting's easy. Just lead them out on the water and shoot them full of holes. If you've got a bow, of course, and can walk on water. You are annoying. Go away. Good day. Good day. Best way to take out a skeleton is with a big weapon. Forget spells. Just smack them and watch the bones fly. Farewell. I like your armor. A pleasure to speak with you. I hope I can help. Colovia is dotted with isolated farms and settlements, with most of the population in the coastal margin. Well, thank you for that. I'm just gonna join these fine folk by the fire for the evening, and, uh, hello. And, uh, that's a quest I'm not interested in doing. Um, <laughs> swap tails! Sing songs, all the rest of that stuff. Uh, so ain't. What is with your eyeballs? There we go, back to normal. Right, <laughs> that was weird. And uh, basically rest with them for the evening. Continue our journeys the following morning when hopefully it stopped bloody raining. Hooray! So. Apparently everyone else is having a lion. Except we've now been woken up by something. Oh, hello. How drunk did Sally get last night? Because she doesn't seem very pleased to see me. Um, <laughs> How goes it? Okay, good. The weather's finally behaving. All right, so where is this damn way shrine? It's a little to the west of us right now, actually. This way. Okay, this, yeah, this... There's definitely trouble afoot. There's another four over there. I'll let the rangers deal with that. Stay 
away. Get away. It's just a peg. Although I think there's a mountain lion around here somewhere as well by the sounds of it. Oh god. Call down music. Alright, we got bandits. Oh, of course, of course. Now we decapitate someone, and this time it's an Argonian. Sally is a racist against the beast races, confirmed. I'm going to take these because I can sell them. Khajiit's and Argonians are the only ones that get beheaded. I'm going to check this place out because if it's full of marauders, some good fights we can have. Creatures, like monsters, are far more boring to fight with deadly reflex than, than NPCs. So, we can have a Barney with a bunch of NPCs. I think that'd be jolly good fun. Bloody hell. Very dark in here. <laughs> oh, I was like, this feels like there could be a trap here. I was bloody right. There's definitely a lot of people in here. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I'm running around, not even sneaking with a torch out. And they, these, these guys still haven't managed to right fire. Finally, here we go. Oh, okay, there's more than one of them. This might be an issue. Whoa! Right, defensive boost. There's a lot of orcs among these marauders, isn't there? Am I supposed to die? I can't bloody see anything because of all the fire effect. Ugh. Let's have a health potion. This again. You elves are all the same, all flash and no fear. <laughs> you like a that still doesn't work. How annoying. Come on, that. Damn it! Gotcha. That was quite a fight. I enjoyed that. Oh, my arm is in quite a state, isn't it? Look at that. Torch end up. Damn, 
Ah, there it is. Come on. There we go. Really want to hotkey this spell. Um, let's hotkey it to. Let's hotkey it to six, just because I, I I keep forgetting to use the the sorcery potion hot hot hotkey. Oh boy! Come on. If it weren't for the fact that my character doesn't like the Daedra, I'd be tempted to get the goddamn skeleton key. Um. Oh no! Sorry, doggy. Oh! Damn it. Oh, I was hoping to catch him while he was still down. Well, this is going to be interesting. You people with your fire magic. Trying to fight a dark elf. Did that actually work for once? Too bloody dark to tell, honestly. <laughs> Just can't get a decap on anyone who's not a beast race. It's it's uncanny, I tell you. Oh god, a wizard. That's all I needed. More than one wizard? Bloody hell. Crap! Run away! One down. I didn't mean to do that. Although I think I might be able to do that to dodge magic, although not very successfully, apparently. What? What? Whatever it was, it's gone now? Seriously? Oblivion AI. Let's have some cool Witcher music. Let's go. Also, this is the wrong weapon. Uh... Oh yeah, here we go. Epic. Ho 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 ho. Epic finisher for the win. Invited. Press is your problem, matey. Oh, my health. Oh, this is not good. Way, journeyman blade. Uh, who's there? Huh? Where did you go? Come out. 
Any more for any more? Well, look who we've got here. That's what I thought. Where did you go? Come out where I can see you. Call it a draw. <laughs> Where's my greater healing? Let's have one of these and heal major wounds. It's not very efficient, that spell, is it? It's really not. But oh well. Come on then. An illuminate staff, finally. Been wanting one of those for a while. Problem is, I don't know if it... Yeah, it doesn't play very well with the whole droplet torches thing. Although I can still do that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I've got one. Useful scrolls? I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was awesome. That's why you install Deadly Reflex. Because you get some really cool battles like that. Bronze Falchion, huh? It's not that good, really. That was cool, though. This finish we managed to get over here. <laughs> I was very happy with that. Uh... What am I looking for? Oh yeah, it's pretty strange enough. Might as well wear that. For now, I guess. And I need to make some health potions as well, so... Alright, aloe vera leaves. Cambalette cap. Uh, poor meat. Wolf meat. Ham. Ah, oh, I should have been mixing that all with ham. That was foolish of me. Never mind. I forgot I had it. Also. Casual bit of, uh... Repair hammerage. I really should get some repair hammers. I know armor is not one of my character skills, but man, they're just too good not to have. I might even pay for some training. Because uh, it seems like with, with, with the mods I have installed, like uh, armor and weapons degrade so, so quickly. This way up. There's a trip wire here. I guess one of the idiot NPCs set it off. Well met. Well met. Hello! Yeah, the person here would like to fight you all. Come on. Oh god, one of you had to be a wizard, didn't you? 
Oh boy. Okay, getting my ass kicked. Not great. Maybe. Oh, you're a warlord. No wonder you're kicking my ass. This guy needs to die, I think. Possibly he needs to die, to die first, in fact. <laughs> Come back, you bastard! Get off me, you stupid bandit warlord. Oh, there he is. He's double back on me, the bugger. <laughs> Sorry, folks watching at home. I know it's stupid dark right now. Ah, oh, curses. She just hits like a truck, that, that guy. Girl. Flip a neck. Right, you. Go back here, you bastard. Oh, he's gonna kill me now, isn't he? Oh dear. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. Where are you? You know what I'm going to do? Nuclear option. I swear that did no damage. Let's get a bit of lighting here, shall we? Bloody hell. Man, <laughs> I'll hack you, to you won't hack me to pieces, you'll keep, keep sniping at me with lightning magic, is what you will do, you little git. Other nuclear option. So he likes them apples. I think he just died. <laughs> right. Oh no, he's not dead yet.
Oh my god! Jump, Sally! Jump! Whoa. Did he just sh shoot his own warlord? What? What a maroon. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Right. Now you little majorling git. Your time has come, my friend. Yeah, you run away. <laughs> oh my god, how much... How much more dungeons does he have to run away through? You annoying man. Oh, that felt good. Oh, I'm out of torches. You little. Didn't he have a sword of some description? I'm sure he did. I don't know where it's gone though. Maybe he didn't. That was hard work. Fine banded chest. Chest. I bet both of them are trapped. You? You have some cool stuff. Noble Steel Shield, Noble Steel Greaves. The, uh, the shield might be good. Indeed it is, in fact. Even though it's heavy armor, it's still actually better than, uh, than the Dragonborn shield I've got. And a Mithril Claymore! Hello! Hello! I knew that thing was hitting me for lots of damage for a reason. Say hello to new weapon number two. Mithril Claymore. Sweet. I thought it might have been an elven Claymore, actually, from the glimpses I got of it during the fight, but, uh... Nah. I don't know if Mithril is better than elven or not, honestly, but uh, I'm not going to say no to it. Right now, these chests. So, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Well, this one mock is beyond my abilities, but can I smash it? That is the question. Sally smash! Oh yep, there we go. I've just been hit by a nasty poison thing. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> crap! <laughs> this is not good. Um... Oh my god, that was close. That was close. What do we get for our trouble? Not an awful lot, it must be said, actually. Although, I've got a distinctly better shield now. Because it's the same stats, but it's a light armor thing, so it weighs less. Awesome. Doesn't necessarily look quite as cool, but... Uh, yeah. It means I can sell this noble steel shield, and it's worth quite a bit of money, and it also weighs... A lot more, so that's good at least. I'm actually gonna wait here for an hour, Daggerfall style.
Aha! Fire damage. I can take that. I am a dark elf after all. Now then. No, I, I don't want to try and pick it. I want to try and smash it open. Ha! Ha! Because I can. Ha! And I have now broken that. I think I can actually punch things open with my fists if I really want to. Ah! It does seem a bit ha! cheesy though. Ha! So let's just use ha! actual weapons. Yeah! There we go. A base ring of night eye, although it gives you weakness to fire 80% while you're wearing it. Still, interesting. Okay, so we got some goodies. Was there anything else around here? <sighs> dum dum dum. See, this goes back around, does it? Yeah. Back to the old Kaluvian Islands. Could have sworn this guy had a dagger. I believe someone in chat may have even mentioned it too. I just. Ooh! There we go, sneaky little bastard. Dagger of numbing. Okay, not very good, but, you know, it's sellable. Hiding behind a brick. Ah, we have to be up the key for this. Excellent. And that indeed is the shortcut back to the start. More torches is good. Means I can liberally throw them around the place during combat in a dark place. Well then. That was pretty awesome. We still haven't found this way shrine, but that was awesome. Seriously, I, 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 like I told you, you know... Um, fighting NPCs with deadly reflex, ton of fun, absolute ton of fun. Yeah, then. Seems we spent better part of a day doing that, because it's back down to sunset again. But uh, totes worth it, in my opinion. I don't think there's a way to deal with traps. Uh, well, no, that's not true, actually. If you've got good security, you can actually disarm the traps sometimes. Uh, we did that in the Arthur Let's Play on YouTube. He did occasionally manage to disarm traps rather than them exploding in his face. But to be honest with you, even though he had pretty, pretty good security skill, and even then, they still did tend to explode in his face more often than not. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty mean, really. No, this isn't Morrowind. Telekinesis does not help you with that. Telekinesis works completely differently in this game than it does to Morrowind. Yeah, I have, to, I have to admit, of all the things Oscura's Overhaul does, and it is one of those mods that I will not play the game without, the traps on chests annoy me. I, I don't think they're a particularly great addition. They 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 just straight up annoy me, and I would I would be totally fine with it if they just disappeared and never came back as a feature. Honestly, I get why it's there. It's to make it more like Morrowind, which did have trap chests, but Morrowind had ways around that in the form of probes and in the form of telekinesis, whereas this game does not. So.
It should be practically in front of me right now. Ah! Oops. Did you get beautiful sunsets out here on the Gold Coast? It must be said. Look at that. Ooh, I see something over here. Is this it? I think this might be it. Where's Shrine of RK? Honor your body and spirit. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Prayed at the way shrine of Arke. I salute thee, Arke. And now, honestly, I think we're gonna go straight back to Anvil. Because it's much closer than Skingrad. He took 90 minutes to find. I told you we probably wouldn't get through this pilgrimage in one stream. <laughs> Mandrakes are useful because you don't even have to put them in a potion to have them cure disease. We should definitely grab Mandrakes when we see them. Because eat, just straight up eating a Mandrake root will, will cure disease. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the difficulty is still slightly to the left, yeah. Ever so slightly. I'm kind of happy with it being there, really. It allows me to take on a fort full of bandits like that and still have a decent crack at the warlord. While losing several times, but, you know, whoa. Hello. You just killed the bunny rabbit, didn't you? I've interrupted your dinner, haven't I? Bad kitty. Naughty kitty. Go away, kitty. I don't know why you had platinum coins, Mr. Mountain Lion. Or indeed, Mrs. Mountain Lion. I don't know, do mountain lions have manes, the males, or is that like a big African lion thing? But either way, yes, you did kill this rabbit. Speaking of kiddies, <laughs> he's just gonna be lying in the middle of the road for months now, isn't he? Until he eventually despawns and a new one replaces him. Don't think mountain lions have mains, right? Yeah, fair enough. I know f feck all about mountain lions. I have to admit, they're not exactly native to this country, so. I am amazed and delighted at how much of a difference Deadly Reflex has made to this playthrough. First couple of streams I soldiered on without it. And I have to admit, it, it was a little dull. All the combat was a little bit dull. Because it was always just block, power attack. Block, power attack. Block, power attack until they died. But Deadly Reflex is actually, it's, it's actually freaking interesting now. Right, let's see. Uh, let's stay at the, the posh place here. Uh, 
I'm Wilbur, owner and proprietor of the Count's Arms. We make beds and food available to guests. Can I help you? Uh, what can you tell me about the chapel attack? The prophet speaks true. This is the start of something terrible. I can feel it in my bones. Interesting. Everyone's talking about the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go ahead, keep it. I'm trying to avoid getting a copy of one of those cluttering up my inventory, but fine. I've heard Carahill is a powerful illusionist. No wonder she's the ranking mage here in Anvil. Mages. Hmm. You should listen to him preach. He may sound crazy at first, but the longer you listen, the more sense he makes. There's a wonderful room available. It's the best I have, and you can use it for the night for a mere 25 gold. Interested? Indeed. Excellent. It's up the stairs there, and then directly across the hallway. Center room, wonderful view of the city, sleep well. Wonderful view of the city. Yeah, somehow I suspect that he's a lying toad in that respect. Indeed. If we could see very far outside of this window, we would have a lovely view of the wall right now. The town wall. Anyway. <laughs> Hooray! Level 8 already. Good god. Strength! Uh, more speed. And more endurance. Secret does seem to be hard work, but yeah, yes, but it's also a kind of blind passion. An inspiration! A divine inspiration, you might say, in this particular case. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, good morning, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace. Actually, I will be visiting one or two shops before we leave, though. I've got some stuff to sell. Thank Christ, it's not raining again. Touch wood. Daryl Morvane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Armor you gave armor. me the sales pitch all. last time. How and... may I help you? Ooh, cool. Bardish, that's kind of fun. Rubbish, but fun. Right. These arrows. Flare arrows. Silver claymore. Silver daikatana. Uh, the shield. Gauntlets. Oh, my poor helmet. Noble Steel Greaves. Noble Steel Shield. The no Noble Steel is a really, really, really nice suit of armor. Unfortunately, I don't have heavy armor skills, so it's useless to me, but... You know. That... It's not giving me a very good price for those soul gems. I think if I went to a proper enchanter, they would actually give me a better price. But, uh, never mind. Thank If I can't... Repair all my stuff, thank you. Armor, weapons, I have it all. And I will take a few repair hammers as well. God, that's expensive. Uh, Alright. Worth it, though, when I'm in the middle of a dungeon, I need to repair my armor. Okay. Do I have another, any other stuff that needs to go? Um, ah, yeah, some rings. I wonder who will buy that. Maybe the Mage's Guild? Uh, I don't think they do. Do they? Good God. You look different. Hello there. Is there something with which I can assist you? Perhaps you're curious about joining the Mage's Guild. No, I was mostly curious about that ridiculous wig you're wearing. Be seeing you. 
Ah, you're the guy who buys and sells stuff, aren't Greeting. you? I'm Felon Relis of the Mages Guild. I handle alchemy training for the Anvil chapter. Yes, Revelations is the mod with, with Kermit the Prophet, yeah. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. What will it be? I think they're mostly good for me. Goodbye. Although I will make a few potions. Ah, those are all going to be cunningly named Restore Fatigue and not Restore Health. How did she become a goth? Yeah, she's gone through a bit of a phase, Kara Hill. Everyone's been far too polite to say anything about it so far. Spaghetti! More gift subs! Holy Christmas. Thank you very much. Hey, look at that flag up there. We're watching you. I don't know if there's any other shops around here, really. I think there's one on the waterfront, isn't there, actually? On the docks. Well met. We're watching you, scum. It's unreal how many people consistently tune into my Oblivion live streams. It's nice, though. It's nice, though. It's nice having a bit of a crowd for once. We're watching you, scum. Hey, Catstrader, what did you miss? I literally visited one entire shrine on the pilgrimage. That is it. Although I did raid a, a pair of ruined forts and killed fuckloads of bandits in the process. Honestly, We're it was kind of awesome. You. I did like a cool scum. finishing move, which decapitated someone, which is different from the normal decapitations. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just generally very cool. And I have like a... I have a scimitar now and and, uh, and a mithril claymore and it's pretty great honestly Head on. was another Khajiit no I did I did, I did, it was, I did decapitate an Argonian though so we've basically we've widened Sally's racism to to basically any species with tails I'm Norbert Lels I let my merchandise speak for itself look around if you see something you like, we'll talk about a price. Oh yeah, and you're right. The one, the one that I did actually do the finishing move on that was a that was a high elf. So officially, we have now decapitated someone who is not a beast race. But uh, the ratio is still looking a bit grim. <laughs> Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? I'm more interested in selling things to you, my good man. Um, <coughs> this Falothi charm is so good. It's part of the reason we're able to punch above our weight a bit at the minute, actually. This 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 necklace we've got. It's really sweet. And that really nice defensive boost spell we found. That was pretty good too. Right, don't need this jade necklace. I should be haggling with you. Don't need this base ring. Or not. I mean, I, Night Eye is useful, but I've got plenty of torches I can just throw around. And the weakness to fire is a bit grim. Um, and I don't really need this ring of the north either, so you You've can have that, and you can have that. that and I will price. enjoy my big pile of gold. In fact, Tell your friends about me. I'm going to go visit the Gold Good Horse on. Courier office in town before we leave and actually make a gold deposit in there so we can start earning bank account interest. All with the goal of finally buying that pirate ship for ourselves one day.
Here we go. Right, where is the guy? There you are. You need something? Yes. Bank services. Yes. The fee is yeah, 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 yeah. There's a fee? I didn't know that. Uh, deposit gold. 1,000. Oh, I've got to go through all this every time. Deposit, 1,000. I'll do for now. That gives us two and a bit grand left. So yeah, two grand in the bank, which will start earning interest. Yeah, you can deposit gold in your account via the Gold Horse Courier bits in every city. The bank manager guy even says you can do that when you sign up for an account in, in the Imperial City, so... Do pay attention, 007. No, it's not a mod combination feature. It's literally, it? it's all better cities that does this. With all the bank stuff. Would you just, 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 you know, overtake or, or don't, but don't tailgate me, woman. So. We can cross the Way Shrine of Arke off. Next up, we've got to go around Kavach to get to the Way Shrine of Mara, which is just outside Skingrad. Now, I imagine that's about as far as we'll get this in game day. So, yeah, we'll head off the be beaten track a bit, go around the back of Kavach around here, I think. More interesting than going around there again. Just, you know, backtracking. <laughs> oh my god, it's Mike! Mike knows much, tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. Such as? So much easier to get around these days. Not like the old days. Too much walking. Of course, nothing stops Maik from walking when he wants. Indeed. Maik wishes you well. Cheeky bug is talking about fast travel, which I am not using. Maik fears for his life from the crazy racist stand, my lady. Maik runs away now. I'm sure Sally would insist that she is not racist. It's not her fault all of the Argonians and Khajiit do not wear adequate head protection. Oh, I've already harvested this. I've been here before. There's Kavach and all its flickering glory. Do you know what I think I think I know why that is. I think because of the uh the LOD generator I've used. It's actually drawing two Kavaches right now. One with the burnt destroyed horrible walls from the vanilla game. 
and one with um what the devil that wasn't your average wolf was it <laughs> okay let's just move on shall we um But yeah, no, it's, it's drawing the destroyed vanilla walls and also the, the, the updated, like, non-destroyed ones from the mod on top of each other, so it's going all flickery and weird. That's what that is, I think. Bunny rabbit! I may have just killed someone's pet, yeah. Uh, whoops. Oh god, hello. Star of Black Bear. <laughs> Who has now been stabbed in the bum. <laughs> that impaling thing just never seems to do any real damage. Do you know what, Mr. Black Bear? Fine. You were smart enough to realize I was not going to be an easy lunch. And I shall let you live. It actually heals. You know what? I think you're right, actually. I guess I should probably just not do it from now on. Because it seems to be bugged. Honestly, I don't... <laughs> it's not supposed to heal them. It's supposed to do quite the opposite, indeed. Uh, maybe I should read the read me again. In case I'm doing it wrong, but... Uh... I haven't explored this bit of the map very much, actually, I must admit. Kind of curious to see what's out here. An alien ruin! I think the last time I came to this part of the map was when probably one of my first Oblivion playthroughs. And the only reason I came here is because nothing else in the game had ever really sent me here. And I was bored and I was just sort of ticking boxes and exploring locations around the map. And that's I just sort of wandered up here. I have no idea what it's like up here with, like, uh, unique landscapes and all that. Ah, piggy! Ah. Foolish creature. You actually, you actually have useful like meats, so I'm gonna require you to die. Oh, what? Oh my god! Okay, half the wildlife of Cyrodiil is now seeking revenge on me. Right then. No, I'm not. I've no idea what it's like with unique landscapes because I've not come up here with unique landscapes installed before. And I can't remember which areas of the map unique landscapes actually changes. I mean, it's all looking a bit vanilla right now because it's just sort of endless rocks and trees and grass. This usually adds interesting stuff to mountains and stuff, so maybe there's... If we head up here, we'll find something good. Even if it's just a nice view.
I bought some hot chocolate today. Apropos of absolutely nothing, I know. I bought some hot cho hot chocolate today, and it turned out to be. You know, I frequently you buy hot chocolate, and it's just like you know, like a powdery stuff. You add it to hot milk, and you know, off you go. But uh, th this hot chocolate turned out to be just a bag in a tin um, of of just actual flakes of chocolate. Tastes fucking good. For Rondo. Okay, so an alien ruin tucked away up here in the middle of nowhere, right towards the edge of the map. These places usually tend to be full of things like vampires. Oh, even worse. Wizards. With Daedric armor. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. At least we've got epic music. Ah, yes, keep damaging your own minions. Oh boy. Wrong button. Well, right button, wrong spell. Guardians of Oblivion, that's what these guys are. This is high level stuff. I don't think I'm gonna go into this place, but I would like to kill I would like to kill this person. <laughs> Running away, eh? I need to get a better ranged magic spell for situations like this, honestly. This ends here. Oh boy. Ah! Oh god. Oh my Don't days. You Stop ah, you've got yourself unstuck this time around, haven't you? Alright, dead. It just pretty much died out of nowhere there. That was weird. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play dirty. Ah, she's got so much health though! Oh, oh god. Ah, ah. Ah. oh boy, here we go! Executed. Yeah. Suck on that. Foul Daedra worshipping scum. I reckon we probably could have killed her otherwise, actually. She wasn't that much tougher than the bandit warlord. But um, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm not going into this place, because there's going to be like her times 50 down there. I want to know where this path goes. Oh, that was, that was the spell wearing off. I was like, what's going on? Who is casting magic spells on me? Actually, while we've got a, got a moment here. Spare a thought for our equipment.
path of coral. Um, well, it's not a marked path on the map. It certainly goes somewhere, though. We're getting increasingly off track here. We need to go down here. But, uh... The road beckons. Who am I to refuse its call? He says, wandering completely off the road. Just to see if there's anything down in this valley. Well, if there is, the trees are obscuring it. I'm kind of hoping as we make our way down this direction towards the Way Shrine, we might accidentally bump into Goblin Jim's cave. And then we can actually do that side quest. I need a... I need a, a macro like I have for Morrowind that just automatically quick saves the game every couple of minutes. That's what I need. Because while we've not had many crashes, in fact, we've, we've only really had one genuine crashed a desktop so far in this playthrough. I'm still paranoid over it. That looks like an alien drone down there to me. Don't, I don't think Sally likes wizards very much, because aside from the, the, all those Khajiits we decapitated and that Argonian, the only other people we've decapitated have been... Look at these Darwin Award winners here. Um, have been uh, high elf wizards. In fact, wizard, high elf wizards are the only ones who get the special finishing move treatment, actually, as a matter of fact, so... I guess you must extra hate them. I don't know why that wolf has a silver fork. <laughs> Couldn't even begin to imagine. Nonungalo. That name rings a bell for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> Sorry, young wolf. down here. Oh, I see something moving around down there. Might be goblins. Yeah, no, it's not goblins. It's minotaurs. Uh, I think I'm going to not bother. I'm going to I'm going to leave. I'm not interested in fighting minotaurs. They are very high level enemies. Alright, start heading back now towards King Red. Sun's getting a bit low. I think we should make tracks. Pathetic creature. Oh, Piggy wants some. Whoa! Ah! 
Well, I can do the spinny power attacks now. Come back, you git! Oh. At least I got one of them. Ah! Whoa, hello there! Holy crap! Bandits on a hunting expedition, I guess. Oh, come back! This is just embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, you're really interested in chasing this stupid pig, aren't you? Fully armed crusader lady with a goddamn sword. Yeah, no, don't really care. Give me a decapitation, come on. Give me the fun stuff. Blood for the blood god, come on. Where'd the other one go? Ah, I see a camp over here, it's probably where they came from. Suddenly it's super foggy, oh my goodness. Valley View Camp, here we go. Fight me, foul outlaws! There you are. Oh look, it's a Khajiit. How, would you, how much do you want to bet she's going to decapitate him? There you go, straight away. Also, the shaders went really weird on him because it's foggy. It was pretty uncanny. I mean, could, like, it makes sense. It's a 30% chance, and the number of side power attacks I did on the other bandit means that surely the number was due to come up, and we just happened to be facing a Khajiit next. So it makes sense, but even so, it's a little spooky. That's another shrine thingy. And I don't know why my magic spells are glitching out, sound effects-wise. Couldn't honestly tell you, but that does keep happening. Oh, something down there. Just saw a little flash of bluishness. Imps, uh... Bother. Oh, and a gargoyle. Oh yeah, gargoyles. I forgot about these guys. Okay. Gargoyles are annoying. And there's two of the buggers. Oh my days. Okay. This is why gargoyles are annoying. I haven't quick saved in ages. Yeah, I'm all the way back here. Brilliant. See, if we were recording this for YouTube, this would get edited out. But we're doing it live, so you get to suffer through it with me. Also, <clears throat> just a hunch. But I think there's probably supposed to be an Oblivion Gate here when you actually do the main quest.
Hey, you. See, again, no damn decapitation. Fight me, piggy. Couldn't get away from me that time. Okay, we're behind on our skull quota now, aren't we? As a result of that reload. Also, check out skin grad in the background there. Now it's not foggy as hell for some random reason. We can actually see it properly. That is tremendously picturesque. It's like postcard stuff there. Hmm. Seem to have uh, found a path. Oh, here comes the fog. Ooh. All right, yeah, this is this is totally unique landscapes type stuff. This marsh here. For once, can you just not run away constantly? <laughs> the music is far too epic for what is happening, thank you. Honestly, I prefer the wolf attacks because the wolves actually stick around. The boars, just you hit them a couple of times and they start running away. It's intensely frustrating. Uh, that's one of these things. The Raymond Runestone. Sure, what do we get? We get? Whoa, nice. What? Really nice? Bound armor. Ah. Oh. I had to put it away now it's gone. But yeah, bound armor and a bound claymore. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's one of the better runestones out there. I'm not sure Sally appreciates being clad in this foul, evil Daedric armor, though. Get it off me! Get it off me! I cannot unequip this item. Well, crumbs. Ah, crashed again. Same area we crashed in before, actually. Oddly enough. Um... On that note, I think it's time I went for a refill. So, there's the music. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back in about five minutes. I'm just going to go refill my glass and uh, socialize downstairs for just a couple of minutes while I do that. I'll be right back and we'll resume from wherever the heck I last quick saved. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll be folks.
Okay, folks, I'm back. I decided, actually, in the end, not to finish off the bottle of mead, but instead poured myself out a Harper's Toffee Ale, which I'd been saving. I got it on my birthday. Um, I'm not normally someone who really goes for, like, novelty beers with silly flavours in them, but Toffee Ale is really nice. It's really, really good. It's a really nice combo of flavours and it smells, it smells really yummy. I've got a link to it, hold up. We're watching you, scum. Um, first one on the thing is, uh, it's point me to Aldi's website. I want to see if there's actually a... Uh, <laughs> I want to see if there's a, a proper website. Let's see. It's a uh, yeah, uh, oh, slow website. Oh. Have mercy. It's this stuff. I'm going to pretend it's like a super fancy, amazing, uh, awesome, best thing ever. Oh, I didn't even pass the link properly. Rip. Uh, I, uh. Um. But uh, it, it's it's yummy. It's quite yummy. Ah, anyway, let's get back on track here. Uh oh, we're gonna have some music overlap. I forgot to turn it off. Ah! Oh no! The cacophony. I'm just gonna quickly load it. Okay. If you alt tab out of the main menu of Oblivion, it crashes the game for some reason, so. Right. Make the endless... Oh my god. Doing that thing that games do sometimes where it just eats your mouse cursor. Good god. Bring me the task manager. There we go. So that was annoying. I really should try and get this game running in like a borderless window or something. It would alleviate a lot of my problems. But whatever. Anyway, it looks like I quick save pretty. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. It does not like that area. That wasn't just a random crash, that was a game does not approve of this area of the map crash. That is interesting. I don't have a high refresh rate, refresh rate monitor, no. Good old fashioned 60 hertz at my end. I think we'd better fast travel around this. Something might have spawned in that the game doesn't like, I don't know. It's fine with us being here, so... 
<laughs> Stupid summon armor. Uh, so it's just over there. Just past that bend in the road. About there ish. Only tips, Age of Empires 2. Um, <coughs> look, more blue sparkly stuff. What is this? Um, the more villages you have, the better. Okay, this is fireballs just streaking across the sky. What's going on? <laughs> um, okay. Get lots of villagers, try to get through the, uh, the ages as fast as you can. But basically, whoever has the best economy wins. Um... Oh, it's these crazy Amazon chicks. Right, um, I forgot about these. Ow. There's this one random cave in Oscura's Overhaul that's populated by Amazons for some reason. And as you can see, they're all quite high level and really nasty. And they're right in the way of where I kind of want to be. get the guards to help me with these, actually. Ah! Sheep! Random farmer! Oh no, they're attacking the farmers and stuff. No! No! You're as the shepherd! I'm sorry I failed you. Oh, you. Ugh! Can we chill with the magic just a little bit, please? We're taking the Mickey slightly here. Think, no, ugh, never mind. Oh, God. Do you know what? It's that time. I'm gonna play dirty. Okay, that poison is doing a feck all. And that is a seriously nasty spell. She's got that. God, give me decapitation. That would be just so sweet. Also, I think you're fighting a sheep or something there. Override from kick script. What? That's one down. Right, your your clothes, or rather the lack thereof, are apparently very valuable, so I'm having them. See when, when you take the clothes off her, she's actually she's actually more dressed. Oh 
Where did the other one go? Come on then, how about you actually fight me properly? Instead of running away and using stupid magic all the time. Surely she's got to run out of magic her eventually. Oh, that was close. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, no, she's still summoning shit. Oh my god. And this magic armor of mine still. That's the best you can do. Oh, come on, game! <laughs> You know what? You want to summon annoying, stupid things? I can, I can also summon annoying, stupid things. In fact, I've got magic scrolls and stuff too. Here, have a, have a ghost. That's Uncle Jim there. Christ, my health. Nearly got her, come on. Alright, no epic finishing kill move, but uh, we got her. Amazon's leather armor, ruby ring, general treasure MacGuffin things, and an orcish baton. Wow. Where's 52? Holy crap. Right, hang on. did this other one have a weapon that got dropped somewhere? Yeah, silver staff. And that's finally worn off. Oh, don't crash. Don't do this game. Come on, don't be like that. Ugh. Seriously? Try my fucking patience tonight. Cursed mind for a reason, yeah. Uh, that's annoying. Got to fire again, aren't I? Oh, you bastard of a bastard, bastard game. Yeah, here we go again. Oh god, there's a sheep in the way. What's going on? That that frost ma magic spell she's got is just brutal. Uh, video games. A source of very high blood pressure at times. Where did 
you stupid orcish thing go? Do you know what? I don't know and I don't care. I'm sorry, sheep. I couldn't protect your friend. Just staring shell-shocked at the corpse. Oh, we have a silver staff off this lady, though. Where has she got to? There we are. Unless I already picked it up. No, no, there it is. There you go. I shall try searching again for this stupid shrine in the morning where I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hopefully Galathia is asleep. I already have quick saved. Pay attention, chat. Yes. Hello. I know you mean well, but telling me to do things I've already done is not it's not very conducive to a healthy state of mind for your streamer who has died several times and whose game has crashed several times this evening. What can I do for you? Um, bed. I Give bed now. Good day. Yes. I take it you want some. Well, what is Did the shepherd make it out alive this time? I don't know. I don't know. Hi there. Mm. What in the ninety vines do you think you're doing? What do you want, Ashbourne? Shakti Bhakti, I, I hope you're even uh, slightly self-aware at just how much of an amazingly massive nerd that made you sound like saying that just now. Like, I've seen and I've, 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 I've said some nerdy things in my time, but Hi. that one took the biscuit. Uh, also, yeah, hello again, Sir Elaine. Uh, also, <laughs> Knights of the Order of the Giant Heads! Look at, look at him. He's a bit of a freak of nature, this one, isn't he? Why, modders? Yeah. Why did you make him like that? I don't... Whatever. Anyway. There is supposed to be a way shrine around here somewhere. There it, there's the bloody thing. <sighs> Couldn't find it. Too much fog, too dark. Too many Amazons. Hmm, it's on a little island and a lake and... Greetings to you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I don't know why I found that funny. I, <laughs> I can't even drink my beer properly. <laughs> Good morning. 
pleasure to speak with you. <laughs> Good. Good day. Good day. Good day. Just, just having a bath, I guess. Um. Anyway, we, <laughs> we have finally arrived at the Way Shrine of Mara. Praise be. Be humble, so on and so forth. I've prayed at the Way Shrine of Mara. <sighs> it's not easy being a paladin. I hear the meat is rather tasty. Take care. Just neck deep in in swamp water, having a casual chat. How many shrines is that now? Two, just two. Seven more to go. <laughs> All right, let's get back to town. Let's sell a few bits and bobs. Uh, and then figure out what we're going to do next. Purchase of a horse is imminent. Um, I don't know, really. We'll look at the map in a minute. We'll look at the map. We'll figure that shit out in a minute. I don't. Problem is, I don't. I don't really like using horses in Oblivion. They're annoying. Yes. Oh you. no. We need to talk. No, we don't need to talk. Um. Yeah, the horses are kind of annoying. Like they're useful in so far as I think with my mods I've got currently I can put saddlebags on them. Although I've not actually found a trader yet that's selling the bloody things. Um. But without installing additional mods, I can't do things like whistle for my horse or get it to follow me when I'm not riding it, stuff like that. So... It's uh, a little irritating. Welcome to Kolovian Traders, Skingrad's finest selection of general merchandise. I'm Gunder. Just let me know what you want. You know, I maybe I'm just a bit spoiled from playing lots of Red Dead Redemption 2 recently, but... Oblivion's horses are irritating. I like Skingrad just fine. Folks are a little quiet by Skyrim standards, but they're friendly and loyal when they get to know you. I think Glarthir is having one of his bad spells lately. Have you noticed? Yes, I have. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I bet you anything I will, mate. I love this King of Dragon Pass soundtrack we're listening to right now. That game has been on my list of games we need to stream on here for such a long time. I really must get around to it. It's a perfect game for streaming as well because we can have the chat make a lot of the the, the story decisions and stuff. Anyway. Not going to wear the silly Amazon armor. I am a little curious though about its armor value. Good. Is it one of those armors that like replaces everything you're wearing? Or yeah, it is. It's... Oh, for God's sake, it looks even worse than the arena armor. It literally is arena armor, but with some of the cloth removed. Um, we've also got this evil sorcerer's dressing gown thing here. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Forgot about this. Yeah, that needs to be. Uh... I don't know if selling this thing is bad enough. We probably need to burn it in a fire, honestly. Um, let's... Uh, I really need to get better boots and gauntlets than these greaves as well while we're at it. Like, these are just so trash. They're slightly better than fur or, or leather, but... Ugh. Feather headdress, you what? Ha! I can actually wear it with my helmet. It's a bit silly, but uh, there it is. Anyway, it's worth 250 gold, so you bet your ass I'm selling it. Oh, even even putting that on take took off my um I took off my my awesome necklace of awesomeness. So yeah, it's definitely not using that crap. Right. 
What do you want? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Take all this garbage off my hand and yeah, still let's talk of prices and yet you're giving me like 86 gold for a, an item that's worth 250. You know what? Screw you, Gunda. <laughs> I'm going I'm going down the road to the to the smithy to see if she'll give me better prices. Yes. Armor, weapons, I have it all. Let's see. Oh, she won't even buy it. She'll, she'll take that off my hands, though. That's a pretty interesting bit of kit. Uh, useless to me, though, unfortunately. You need to make a better offer. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Another satisfied customer. Yeah, I don't okay. know about that. I don't know about satisfied. Yes, you. No, go away. What do you want? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Yeah, he, he's giving me better, better prices for this than she was. That's what I figured. All right. Well, thank you for your patronage. Goodbye. You shall burn the flames. Were it not for the invisible wall that keeps ruining my plan, there we go. Burn, foul clothes of evil. We no. Talk here. Too public. Okay, I just crashed the. I just froze the game by trying to decapitate Glathia. <sighs> All right, fine game. Fine. You want to have the last laugh? I'll let you have it. It's fine. I don't even care. I, I just, you know, it's not a problem. No, I don't mind at all. Yeah, the game, the game is just having a bad day today, isn't it, really? Ah, whatever. Let's get out of town. Maybe if we move on to somewhere else, it'll start behaving itself again. Maybe it just doesn't, maybe the game just doesn't like skin grad. I don't know. So, the next one we need to go to is Dibella. So, we're heading out of town and we're going north, basically. We could probably visit Coral while we're there, because we've not been there yet. I did jinx it earlier, like 100%. I brought this upon myself. I don't know what it is, man. I just I'm rolling tonight. I am rolling critical fails on my stability dice. That's what I'm doing. Out of curiosity, how stable was the Arthur build? About the same, really. I think the addition of deadly reflex has perhaps exacerbated the problem slightly. I didn't. I definitely didn't get these freezes when I was doing the Arthur Let's Play. I'll 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 freely admit that much. That's a deadly reflex thing. 
going the wrong bloody way. Um, that's that's a deadly reflex thing. I didn't have that with Arthur, but uh, the regular garden variety crash to desktops. I did have those every now and again. Yeah. Yeah, deadly reflex is a bit of a bitch like that. Unfortunately, I'm I am. It's just. I, I'm satisfied with putting up with it simply because as you've seen in this stream it makes the combat so much less boring you've never found an actually stable oblivion setup yeah I'm pretty I've not played vanilla in, a, in years but I'm pretty sure vanilla crashed for me too so oblivion is just a train wreck of a game from a from a bugs and glitches and stability standpoint. There's a bear that's about to regret its life decisions. Then again, it was starved, so it seems like it maybe didn't have a choice. I have to admit, one of the things I liked about Morrowind was that there was actually an in-universe explanation for why all the wildlife is suicidally aggressive towards you. It's the blight, basically. It drives all the wildlife mad. That is the reason why you're constantly getting attacked by every other cliff racer and guar and Nick's hand and everything you come across. Uh, whereas in this game, it's just, you know, you have suicide wolves charging at you from out of the bushes at every, every other location and there's no explanation given really other than just, um, it's just what wolves in video games do, I guess. And, you know, that's fine, you know. But Baldur's Gate back in 1996 was exactly the same. Hell, encountering your first wolf in Baldur's Gate was a, a harrowing experience, to say the least. But, you know. It's one of the things that... It's one of the reasons why I, I feel Morrowind is just generally a cut above... Bloody hell, that's a big bear. Um, is a cut above uh, other games in the genre because it does actually bother to make that attention to detail. It actually bothers to explain why all the wildlife just wants to suicidally throw it itself at the player. I'm just not even going to fight that bear. I'm leaving it alone. Not interested. Behold the great forest. There's probably lots of stuff sequestered away in this place that I'm simply not bumping into, like this, for example. Because I've got the uh, compass markers turned off. A Daedric Shrine of Molag Baal. No, thank you. It is a bit of a shame I'm playing a character that is not remotely interested in doing the Daedric quests, because some of them are quite fun. Oh well. Actually, I just want to... Yeah, I just want to make sure we're not um, having another dagger issue like in the first stream where uh, every time I try to attack with a weapon the game crashes or it not crashes but freezes. No, I think we're fine.
I had to say the words, didn't I? I think we're fine. What's going to happen next? I didn't even know you could do Daedric Quest in Morrowind for many, many years, just because I never thought to actually try and mouse over the statues. I mean, I'm sure I did once or twice, it's just not all of the statues are actually activatable. So I probably moused over a statue once and noticed that it didn't do anything special, and then therefore assumed that all of the statues in the game also did nothing. And thus, for years, I, I never... Uh, Ugh. I never really, uh, I never really realized that you could even do Daedric quests in, in Morrowind until I finally got access to a broadband internet connection and looked on the wiki and realized, oh, crumbs, there's a, there's a whole bunch of quests in this game I never even did, never even knew existed. <laughs> okay, so this treasure hunter came here, was killed by something. And whatever that something was, it took his trousers. That is apparently a lesser, lesser Hood of the Seer. It's called a Lesser Hood of the Seer, and yet it has no magical properties whatsoever. Also, magic arrows. This is a bedroll here. I could rest here if I need to. Hmm. I reckon maybe undead or something for this one. Well, we're about to find out. It's... oh, it's a shadow wolf. Oh man, the, uh... The pommel strike button's not working. Ugh. That was bloody close. Maybe it's just one of those ruins that's full of random wild animals. They're always a bit disappointing, those ones, honestly. Oh, the nostalgia! This, this this music track is from Thief 2. It's called Shipping and Receiving. It's one of my favorite video game music soundtracks of all time. It's awesome. Oh, Eric Brosius. Perfect dungeon music. Hmm. You know, maybe I shouldn't disturb the dead. I feel like as a Dark Elf character, she probably wouldn't be down for that. Raiding coffins. It's gonna bug me not knowing what's in the damn things, but... Role-playing! <laughs> Bloody hell. That'll teach me to look at the chat, and not at the game. <laughs> That's one of those annoying dart traps, so there doesn't seem to be any way around. I kind of hate these. OK, 
So you have to try and set it off and then just dash through in the interval. I see rats. Foolish ratties. Why do you fight me? I'm not your enemy. Oh god. Hello. Someone else here apparently. Do we reckon vampires, maybe? That would certainly change things up a bit. Oh, well, here we go. Epic Witcher music. Oh, yeah, it's a vampire. Here we go. Wasn't up to much, this guy, but hey. Vampires it is. Dark Elves in, in the Elder Scrolls freaking hate vampires by the way so we are totally clearing this place out if we're capable of doing so anyway vampires are usually pretty tough I'm just gonna go back and check that bit with the rats time to purge yes <laughs> hello ratty yeah you're smart you're a smart ratty you're not attacking me Why did Dunma hate vampires? You know what? I've never had it adequately explained. Ooh. Come. It's quick, isn't it? I'm sure the lore is there, I've just not actually bothered to go looking for it. Um, the hood's actually kind of a cool look, but uh. <laughs> that is a distinctly uncool look, but it's actually, you know, a point better, so I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. I guess just because they're under. I mean, it's not like anybody in the Elder Scrolls particularly likes vampires. Everyone kind of hates vampires in the Elder Scrolls, but I, I always got the impression from playing Morrowind and, and what people in the game say about vampires that the, the Dark Elves extra, extra hate them for some reason. Oh, I already told myself, wasn't, didn't I? No raiding graves. No robbing tombs. We're here to protect the, the the remains of the dead from these ghoulish creatures. That's what we're here to do, not loot them. Hello, knock knock! Vampire hunter here! Okay, there's a few of them. Including whatever the heck that is. Stunted ghoul. Ugh. Abomination! You are horrendous. Kind of reminds me of what the Draugr were like in, in Blood Moon in Morrowind, actually. Not like the... what the... That was weird. Um, but I think that's what he's kind of modeled on. He's got the, he's got the glowing eyes. Because Draugr in Blood Moon in Morrowind, they weren't like the ones in Skyrim. They were actually... they were like this, very dark colored, and they moved very, very freakishly quickly.
Yeah, old school Draugr were kind of creepy. Like, the first time you bumped into one, it was like, What is that? Oh my god, why is it moving so quickly? Right, anyway. Hello! Alright, here we go. You're a proper fighter. Oh no, there's two of you. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Don't have enough magic or what? Oh, this is gonna be Let's get this over with. annoying, isn't it? No. No. Come to me, sweet flesh. What did you just do to me? Oh no, I'm gonna die. Yep, dead. Vampire matriarch, huh? Got a freaking nice sword, though, from what I can see. I need to hold my ground here a bit, really. Whoa, she's creepy looking. Look at her. Just disarmed me. Unbelievable. Uh... Run away! Oh, this is going to be a tough fight, isn't it? I can already tell. Oh my god, it's a wolf or something. What's going on? Alright, the vampire warrior needs to die first. There we go, dealt with. Run away! Oh, Christ! The, the darts! The darts! Quick save. Hang on a minute. The, 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 the wolf is attacking her. Show me what you got. This is the health magic. Oh dear. Stall her, wolf. Oh, my days. Even when I block, she does tons of damage. God damn it. Straight into the poison darts. There we go. That wolf was summoned. Okay, that's a weird sword. Sword of the weird name, anyway. I'll tell you that. Some posh clothes.
Clint the 16th bronze. It does 21 stonking great points of damage. It is way better than my Mithril Claymore. Question is, does it count as being magical? Like, will it, will it hurt ghosts and things, I wonder? However, it looks pretty sweet, and it does tons of damage, so I'll have it. Thank you very much. That is a really good sword, isn't it? Yeah. Right. I'm just going to go find my damn scimitar. Because it got disarmed back there. You definitely had some sort of weapon. Oh, it's an iron longsword. Pathetic. There it is. Is it still hockey or no? It doesn't need to reassign it. Another great bit of music, this from The Witcher 3. Let's see if I can quickly make some more health potions. Have I got any ingredients? Wolf meat. Aloe vera leaves. Boar meat. Shadow wolf meat. Rabbit meat. There we go. There's a few more. Um, do you know what I think it might be? I think it might be a vanilla thing actually getting disarmed. I, it could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can do that with a certain type of power attack in the vanilla game. I would try and bash this open, but if you do that and there's enemies still in the dungeon, they will all immediately converge on your position because they hear the clanging. I will suffer through this mini game instead. S emphasis on suffer. And is it trapped? War myth or shield, huh? We're definitely going through the, uh, no, no trap, nice. Um, we're definitely going through the shield upgrades pretty quick, aren't we? Goodbye, light iron shield. Hello, worn mithril shield. <laughs> it's definitely seen better days. It's a bit, could do with a wash. But, uh, yeah, definitely better than the light iron. Oh, I need to, uh, Hockey this instead of being Mithril Claymore. You served us well, Mithril Claymore. But you just ain't nearly as good as this thing. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Okay, out of curiosity, what's in the coffin? Oh, that's fine, I'm I'm happy to leave that. This is this is uh, divine crusade attacks. That's what this is. I won't rob the things in your actual coffin, but you know I've purified your tomb. <laughs> you gotta pay the tax, okay? It's like avatar tax from from Ultima. <laughs> Oh, it's actually doing damage to me, this. Oh, quite a bit, in fact. Ow. Currently silenced. Yeah, that's evil. That's an evil trap, that one.
Yeah, I suppose if you're being on the safe side, yeah. You should probably burn the bodies. But if that's why the, 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 the Dark Elves burn the bodies, eh? So they don't come back to life. Ha! One time I decide not to do that stupid fetch quest, and then I find two bottles of that bloody wine. I'm just gonna leave it there on principle, I tell you. Alright, there's a few bits we haven't explored yet. Actually, there was a whole other wing down in this direction, and I heard someone talking when we went past there, so there's definitely more vampires still about the place. No, oh, no, Ratty, what? Don't! Don't, you fool. Also, seriously. Okay. Okay, right. Actually, let's use some of our uh, repair hammers. Wherever they are, there we are. Run out of hammers, but prepared a fair bit of our stuff. Bats! Vampire bats, no less. Because, of course. Right, here we go. I heard someone. You there! Stop where you are! Stop in the name of vampire law! That is what I think of your puny zombie. What's the matter? <laughs> Vampire sorcerer, is it? Whoa, okay. Mud golems. I see. We're stepping our game up a bit, are we? Close the bloody door in my face. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I feel like this sword attacks faster. How many more zombies do you want to throw at me, eh? Now, you're a high elf wizard. Usually this means that you get the special finishing move treatment. So you've quite finished running away from me. Come and get it then. Get this over with. Huh? Where did you go? Come uh, when I can see. Uh, ah, you'll never take me. <laughs> he shot your own zombie, you idiot. Come to me, sweet Conjurers in his yeah, so annoying. <laughs> I've got a moment of res respite here, I think. Yes, damn rats! Those those cursed rats charging at you with 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 two-handed swords. Ah! Oh, get out of the way! No! Ah! Oh, finally. Problem with these bastards is they don't even give you any good treasure. Oh, I love that. That's trapped. That's totally going to be trapped. Well, maybe not actually. I think it triggers if you if you so much as try and lockpick it. It will usually set off the trap. So maybe we're all right. 
In fact, you know what? Enough of this clowning around. Goodies. Not that great, though. Ah. I do. How's that robe look? Um, it's not really my. Oh, look at this! This thing even has a scabbard. I really like this sword. Um, I need to get it enchanted so I can rename it something cool. But uh, the ro it just the robe will just it looks just looks like one of those you know regular old you know one of those robes. One of the ones that'll unequip all my gear. Uh, where is that? There. Oh, that's this place cleared out. What's the time? 10.48 p.m. All right, you tell what, we'll go back all the way to the start. And we will... Sorry, I just... Ah! Get. We'll go back to the start, and uh, we'll, we'll rest at that bedroll near the entrance. Seems like a sensible idea to me. Oh! Ow. Vampire matriarch. You were no joke. That's a freaking gigantic wolf, holy crap. Look at the size of him, crikey! Regular human, wolf. Bloody hell. Anyway. Oh, There's a big doge. Hey! So that's how it works. I plod along, putting one foot before the other. I look up and suddenly there I am, right where I wanted to be all along. More strength, more speed, and more endurance. That is a cow, not a wolf, yeah. <laughs> He is a biggin. He's definitely a biggin. Uh, he's about the size of a horse, a small horse, you know. All right then. So I think we're gonna go look for this way shrine. And then that'll probably be it for tonight, folks. Uh, where is the Witch Rides map? Here we go. Debella. Should be. Over here somewhere. I've j literally just finished my beer as well, so that's pretty good timing. Let me up, game. Come on. Ugh. All 
Look at that, 200 sword with a scabbard. It's pretty cool in this game. My new favorite sword. Look, it's even shiny too. They even put a shiny effect on it. It's got a bit of a dent in it in the middle there. Do you see that? But, uh, ah, it'll certainly do. Aha! Here it is. Excellent. So in the rain and howling wind, we finally arrive at the Way Shrine of Dibella. And offer our prayers. Love, beauty, and honor its mysteries. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. I salute you, Dibella. Necessarily salute you for having a way shrine in such an awkward place to reach, but there we go, folks. That is a really silly looking helmet. Oh well. We we gained a really awesome sword and, and also gained a rubbish looking helmet, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been fun. I will see you again on Friday, where frankly, I think we'll just carry on doing what we've been doing, honestly. I'm kind of curious to see, honestly, from a am academic perspective, how quickly we can actually get through this playthrough. If I pretty much stream this and nothing else for a few weeks, like I want to see how much progress we can actually make versus if I was doing this on YouTube. You know what I mean? So, since everyone's enjoying it, myself included, I think we'll carry on doing that. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you for more of that on Friday. In the meantime, I'm going to see if we can raid somebody. In the meantime, Echo! Uh, Lil is streaming and so is Kikoskia. Uh, Kikoskia is streaming some XCOM UFO Defense and he's got 250 people watching him, good lord. Uh, considering he started doing Twitch about three weeks ago, he's doing alright, it's Kiko. Um, I don't think he really needs the help, frankly. I think we're going to go visit Lil instead. <laughs> She right now is streaming. What is she streaming? Oh, she's streaming Blade Runner. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if any of you are aware of this, but the Blade Runner, the old Blade Runner point and click, which is an incredibly good game, made by Westwood back in the day, I think. Uh, the guys who brought you Command and Conquer and Lands of Law. Um, they made an official Blade Runner video game many years ago. And uh, it's just very recently been re released on GOG. So, and I'm, I'm going to be picking it up, actually. I think it's on the sale for like $8 or something at the minute, 10% off for the release. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's a really good game. Easily as good as the movies, honestly. It's a, it's a pretty awesome video game. And she's streaming that right now, so if you're interested, you can go watch Lil play it right now. So, that's what we're going to do. So, you know, you know the drill, folks. Jump in there, say hello, spam some emotes, that sort of thing. Uh, there we go. Brilliant. All right, everybody. It's been fun. I'll see you again on Friday. Same bat time, same bat stream. Six o'clock in the evening, UK time. And uh, we'll continue our pilgrimage on Friday. Cheers, my dears. I'll see you then. <laughs>